get these comments out of my face. I've said hello to you enough. We gotta, we gotta get into the. Well, we're gonna get, get right into Teal Street. Ah. Well, you probably don't want to see my face, but just in case, there you go. I mean, we can always leave this guy on. You know, I can, I can stream from over here, but uh, you know, lacks the same, the same je ne sais quoi. The petite mad. Appreciate the follow. This is Doge. I don't think I'll be trading Doge. The only trade I want to take on Doge is a long. <laughs> and I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to be longing it here. There's a, a very public, very good trader on the Binance leaderboards who is twapping long Doge right now. Nothing major. No, nothing crazy. I think he's got to about a... What, what is it now, Dida? 70, 80k position? But uh, he obviously thinks something's brewing here. As do uh, as do a few people. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna trade BTC though. Not that I have a better read on it because I don't. No, I I genuinely I I wish I wish I had a clearer read coming into this PPI. I don't. And with CPI yesterday, I'm not sure how much volatility we're gonna get. Anyway, famous last words, perhaps. Yes, this was um. <laughs> PPI, oh, sorry, CPI. So we're looking to do the same. We're looking to do a few clicks, take a few trades. This, this, these daily values are out of date. Let's give that a quick update. We are obviously a minute and a half away. Okay, you know what? Let's let's get out of the charts. Ah, uh, probably rough plan. I mean. I don't even know, do we short, do we short a run on the highs? It's hard to say. Do we short this? I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced it doesn't teleport to like 35k. I think we would, we would chance along. If we got some kind of run on these lows, we would chance along. But I don't know, this isn't a, this isn't a PPI where I have a very obvious target in mind and I'm just gonna giga short or giga long when it gets to that. I'm not gonna be jumping into a position. Let's uh, reduce our position size here to about 15k. Chubby B with a cheer. Three cheers. I love it. And we're gonna possibly, let me get my accoutrement set up here. We have our fingers on the trigger. We have our fingers on the uh, the Teal Street trigger here. The, the wire is a little bit short, so you can't really see it. But we are ready to go. We have the hotkeys ready. Okay, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see what we're given. Okay. Pump, pump, pump. Not a huge amount of volume here. Yeah. Not a huge amount of volume at all. It came in at uh, minus 0 0.5. The knife catching period is, is, is done and dusted. This is, yeah, we got nothing. What did we get? We got a $140 move. And it's just crabbing. So yeah, at least we have levels to play off. Uh, I would consider shorting or longing a run on either of these on a break back. I feel like sometimes you get this thing where it's like, let me show you in the charts. Sometimes you get this thing uh, during uh, news events. Right, where you can almost play off, you can almost play off the initial impulses. Not always, but I feel like that's at least the plan. If I look for a swing short on ETH, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be sh like that's absolutely nothing you want to be shorting. Trust me. Wait, wait for, wait for obvious weakness. Don't, don't get caught, don't get caught shorting, uh, shorting ETH here. Seriously, this thing could, this thing has way more legs. Or it could potentially. Wait, don't try and guess. Don't try and guess the top. Wait for the market to tell you. That's gonna pop up, you think? It's gonna pop up, yeah. Bid Saddles liquidity. Oh, nice. Sometimes VWAP, man, is such a goaded indicator. I want to set some alarms for Doge. I just want to. Might even buy Spot. I feel like something's brewing. 
Yeah, ETH, so when, uh, Dan Crypto just posted on Twitter that this slow grind up is not the one you want to fade. That's absolutely right. When you see this PA on ETH, like it's a joke, it's the it's it's like a meme, it's vertical accumulation. Don't fade it. Don't fade vertical accumulation. Just wait, wait for something obvious. And by obvious I don't mean like an M1 structure break. You know, wait for this. Wait for that. You know what I mean? Wait until you get some very obvious indications that sellers are out. Sorry, that uh, the buyers are stepping out and sellers are stepping in. You know what I mean? ETH bullishness is just as scary as BTC bullishness if you're a bear. The BTC bullishness that we've seen since January, like ETH has been lagging, but when ETH starts taking off, when, when money starts properly rotating in, like we saw it with um, we saw it with the merge narrative last year, right? ETH was just incredibly strong and incredibly hard to short. And even if you get like a dip, even if you get like, even if you run this low, wait, wait until it actually confirms that it wants lower. Don't get caught, don't get caught short in that move. You know what I mean? Like there's a, there's a, there's a joke, you know, like vertical accumulation. But this is literally vertical accumulation, <laughs> right? That's what vertical accumulation looks like. It is not bearish. Ah, yes, thank you. A beautiful. This is probably the most beautiful chart I've ever seen on trading you. Well, chef's kiss. My favorite part about Bong. Oh, and then of course you have this structure here. I call this the um, the piano sheet music structure. Okay, here you have a it's obviously a semi quaver, and then here this is like a, a quaver. Some deviations here and here, but I think those are easy to uh, those are easy to forget about. What's more important is that we focus on this PA here. I call this um, paint paintbrush flicking uh, paint on the wall. Yeah. Okay. I look to fade this. Oh, beautiful. It's just investment news, right? Quite cool to trade with this. Okay, we're, we're positioned. I, it's not a very big position. Let's see how it goes. I think it's pretty easy in validation. Let me show you. Yeah, we'll see. See how that plays out. Easy invalidation. Looking for a bit of a retrace. Because it's not like... Okay, first of all, we swept a high. Okay, that's important. Second of all, we're in a high time frame FEG. That's also important. And third of all, the blue, the blue candle stopped and the white candle started. <laughs> like, that's kind of it. Like, there isn't... I mean, a pump like this, based on news... I don't know. Once it starts selling off, Unless you get more news, typically, on that, the, the two things that can really cook you on a setup like this, say like some company is doing some deal with a crypto, you get like a tweet from the official Twitter account, and then like 30 minutes later you get a tweet from like some big figure involved with that. That can sometimes cook you because you'll get a double pump, you'll get a pump on the initial, like let's say like Twitter and Doge is the perfect example. Twitter, like the update happens and then Elon tweets, right? So you get a double pump. Or if BTC just chats, like if BTC goes to goes to 31k here, this short won't play out. Or you know, it, it probably won't. Or at least it'll just do this. You know, but you can't expect it to retrace the full move. If BTC chills or even drops here, this probably retraces. Like those, uh, like it's the nature of the news as well. Like partnership news. Or sorry, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. It wasn't partnership news. It was investment news. Like investment news is. Like typically not like even partnership news isn't typically like isn't typically like a, a like 
like bullish, like all time highs, like pump this thing to Valhalla. My gamble here is that that news is not gonna send EOS any higher than it's already been sent. But it's looking a bit dodgy now. It's looking a bit like uh, potentially it won't play out. Tree still, still twapping. Tree still twapping. We're still twapping. I'm half considering closing this. I don't know, maybe we get another pump. We're heading for a heading for a potential stop on this one. This probably runs the high and then then is the short. That's when the short. That's when the real uh short. Yeah, we're back in profit. Now send this thing down. My diamond bear claws. And look at that. I'm getting some action now on uh on what was arguably a poor read on on EOS. I don't I don't like this short to be honest. Even if it plays out. Yeah, I'm actually out. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut. Except I'm probably just gonna get stopped instead. <laughs> we can't close now. I'll just ride it to stop. Man. Really thought though we would get more downside on that. Really thought we would get more downside. We're very, we're getting dangerously close to our stop here. Dangerously close to losing 80 bucks or whatever it would be. Just stop me out. <laughs> Look at Oh boys. <laughs> we're still in. The party hasn't finished. We're still in this absolute Ponzi. <laughs> oh lads. How close are we? Four M1 candles. <laughs> you closed. Paper handers will not be rewarded. Oh, I can't close it now. I said I'd close it break even, but I can't I actually just let it play out. I don't care if I get stopped. That's too good. It's too funny. Lat. Why isn't that closing? Okay. We're out. Uh, we'll look to re-enter if we pop higher or sweep these eyes, but uh, it's not a trade. I'd, it's not a trade I would take at the moment. Let me show you why. I was trying to. I don't know why that wasn't working. I was trying to set my TP to just close the position uh, to limit out. I'm sure there are better ways to do it, but that's how I typically do it. So yeah, uh, the reason I closed there was because this isn't a short, in my opinion. This PA isn't a short. Um, and I think actually shorting here is just risky because of these relatively equal highs. I feel like almost certainly, well not almost certainly, no that's, I don't want to speak in certainties at all, because it could just drop here, right? But I feel like a, a pop is more likely and then there'll be a better short up here. That's just my feeling, so I'm happy to close that. As always, this was a great stream. Uh, thank you so much for everyone who dropped by. We're back again tomorrow. We're back again tomorrow for... Um, what is on tomorrow? Retail sales. So yeah, we will see you then. Um, hopefully this BTC short plays out. Still kind of getting into the idea of... Uh...